Alright, so for the first part of this video, this is going to focus on the uh, lesson, uh, module 6, lesson 1 problem set. Um, then further along, there will be a little bit of help for the homework as well. Uh, so starting off with number 1, it says to circle groups of two apples. So I'm literally just going to come in here and circle groups with two apples in them. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Um, and right here it says there are blank groups of two apples. So I just need to count how many groups I have. So I've got one, two, three, four, five groups. So I'm going to put a five right there. Um, now, question number two is very similar except it says to circle groups of three balls. So I would just underline that so I don't forget what I'm actually looking for and then come through and circle groups with three balls each. And I would do that all the way down the line, okay? And then you would fill in this blank right here and say there are blank groups of three balls just like we did in the problem above. So for number three, it changes up just a little bit, and it says to redraw the 12 oranges into four equal groups. And so um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So we need four equal groups, of course. So I'm just going to start marking these off as I draw them over here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, it says down here we have four groups of blank oranges. Um, and so we obviously have our four groups, and each of these groups has one, two, three oranges in them. So I would simply say I have four groups of three oranges. Okay? Now, I would do something very similar with number four down here um, and redraw the 12 oranges into three equal groups. Um, and what, how I would do this is I would simply just take the uh, same oranges that we use up here and do the same exact thing, but make a different mark on them as I draw them down here. Um, so I'd go one, two, three, and then I would keep doing that until I actually finish, and then fill in the blank, because uh, we need to answer three groups of blank oranges. And so how many oranges are in each of these groups, okay? And so that's what you would fill that blank in with. Um, so go ahead and pause and try your best on this. And then hit play and we'll pick up with the next problem. Alright, so this problem is a little bit different. Um, it says to redraw the flowers to make each of the three groups an equal number. So I need to redraw all of these flowers down here to make all of these groups equal because you can see right now that this group has four, this one has two, and this one has three. Um, so we really need to figure out, I mean, how we can get them down here into equal groups. So this is going to be kind of similar to what we did up there. Um, and so I'm just going to mark these off as I draw them down here. So I've got that. One, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight, and nine. All right, so I have all of my flowers up on the top row marked off 
and I have equal groups down here, um, and each of them has three in them. So I have three groups of three flowers, and that equals blank flowers. Now for this, really all I'm going to do is count up how many flowers I have total. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flowers total, okay? So I would put nine right there. So for number six, it's going to be pretty much the same exact thing. And you would just come in here and mark these off as you move them down into the groups below. So it says to redraw the lemons to make two equal size groups. So all of these lemons need to go into these two groups. So it would literally be marking these off as you draw them down here. And then, of course, what you need to do is make sure that all of them end up in the, uh, in the bottom two groups. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause. Um, if you need a reminder for how to do this, just rewind a little bit and see what we did for uh, problem number five, and then you can fill in this down here, okay? All right, so I have right here that I need to circle two groups of shirts. Um, and this is the first problem on the homework. Um, so this should uh, hopefully help you if you're a little bit confused on this while you're working on this at home. Um, so once again, uh, circling groups of two shirts. So each group is going to have two shirts. So I'm just going to come in here. There's two shirts. There are two shirts. And there are two more shirts, okay? Um, and then I need to fill in the blank. There are blank groups of two shirts. Now I've got one, two, and three groups. So I've got three groups of two shirts. For problem number two, um, it looks like it's very similar again. It's a circle groups of three pants. So three pants, and then you would come in and just circle groups of three, and then how many groups do you get, right? Um, and so you would fill that in right here, so you could say there are blank groups of three pants. Down here for number three, what you need to do is redraw the 12 wheels into three equal groups. Um, so kind of like what we did on the problem set earlier, we're going to cross these wheels off as we draw them into our groups. Um, so we would simply go one, draw the wheel in, two, draw the wheel in, and just continue doing this until you run out of wheels. And then you would say, um, you would answer this down here, and say there are three groups of blank wheels. So you would just say how many wheels are in each of these. And remember that these have to be even. So do one at a time in each of these groups, okay? All right, so for uh, problem four, it's gonna be very similar to what we were doing on the problem set once again. And so we need to redraw the 12 wheels into four equal groups this time. Now, um, I went ahead and blocked out the answer for number three um, so that, you know, you wouldn't just copy what I do, okay? Um, but we're gonna do a very similar thing down here in number four. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just make a different and uh, mark on these wheels as I place them down here, okay? Um, so I would just go, okay, so there's one wheel, and then just draw it in, two, draw it in, three. Now notice I'm going to each group when I draw these in, okay? Because that's, that's going to be the easiest way to keep track of what we're doing. And then I would just keep doing this until all of these 
get marked out. And then, of course, I would come down here and I would say there are four groups of blank wheels, and this blank has how many wheels go in each of these groups, okay? Now, this is going to be pretty similar uh, once again with uh, what we've been doing. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, when I first look at these, I notice that these groups are not all equal because I've got one apple here, three here, three here, and then one there. And I need to redraw them to make four groups with an equal amount. So each of these right here needs to have the same amount of apples in it. So it's going to be pretty similar to what we've been doing. So I'm going to mark this off, draw my little apple, mark that one off, draw my apple, mark, draw, mark, draw, mark, draw, mark, draw, mark, draw, and mark, and then draw. Okay, so I've used each of these apples, and they are now in their new groups, which are all equal. Um, and so it says four groups of blank apples. So how many apples are in each group? Well, I see that I obviously have one two in each group. So four groups of two apples equals blank apples. So what it's really asking here is how many apples are there all together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apples. So I would just say, yep, there are eight apples right there. Um, so taking a look down here at number six, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, same concept anyway, so let's redraw the oranges to make three equal groups. So you would literally come in here and just mark one of these off and draw it in here. Mark it, draw it, mark it, draw it, and keep going until all of these are all used. Okay? And then, of course, um, after you get all of that uh, drawn out and you know how much is going to be in each of these groups, you would say three groups with blank oranges. And once again, that's how many oranges are in each of these groups. So the number of oranges inside this right here, you would write that right there, equals blank oranges. And so that's how many oranges there are together like all together. So you would count up all the oranges in here and write how many there are in that blank. So hopefully this video has been helpful and we will see you tomorrow.